after doing everything wrong, when this thing blows up, you'll know exactly why you're not supposed to do things the way we're doing it. You're watching Death Witch. This thing, 80 miles an hour, it blows the tires right off it without the nitrous. It's scary. It's real dumb. This thing is a weapon. So my name's Josh with Vague Industries. I'm out of Dublin, New Hampshire. I'm here with my 1977 Toyota Hilux pickup truck. It's got a 2006 Crown Vic front and rear suspension in it. It's got a turbocharged 5.3 liter, 70 millimeter turbo. And since I have no intercooler, got a hundred shot of nitrous spraying straight into the intake. So I figure nitrous is way better than meth. Found this truck in Phoenix uh, for 250 bucks. It was abandoned in the desert for 15 years and I spent about a week trying to get it running in the desert and I wanted to just drive it back to New Hampshire stock. I made it to New Mexico and I developed a wrist pin knock. So I asked my buddy, it's like, hey, can I take like three or four days and do a Crown Vic swap in, in your shop? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. You know, while I'm in there, I might as well do this. I got this out, I might as well paint it. I, so it ended up being like cab came off, it rear end came out of it, bed came off, it frame got cut in half and then I couldn't justify putting that knocking, ticking 20R back in it, the four cylinder. So it ended up with an LS motor. A guy came over and was like, dude, this thing needs a turbo. It's so wide, it's so rowdy, the engine's sticking out the hood. I'm like, I am so done putting time and money in this. I just want to go home. And the next day he comes over with a turbo. He's like, you can have it if you put it in. Can't not. But we ended up getting it boosted. And when we, when we got it all together, trying to make the last 2000 miles home, the first 200 miles, we stopped 35 times to fix or diagnose this truck. It took days, but in doing so, we were able to meet some of the best people on the planet. Just the kindness of strangers. They've took us like we're living the American hot rodders dream. We're driving this hot rod across the country, keep breaking down. This is the American road trip. Um, so people just wanted to be part of it. They just wanted to do what they could to help. So, if you look at this truck, there's hundreds of signatures on it. All those signatures are from people that wanted to donate, whether it was parts, time, material, labor, a shower, like anything to keep this adventure and this, this road trip going. Um, so this truck isn't necessarily about the quality of, uh, of build. It's, to me, it's the quality of people that have been involved in the truck. So initially, this truck was actually going to be a really nice thing. Uh, you know, I started doing the wide body, it was all straight and pretty, and I wanted to finish it, metal work it, and media blast it, body work it, and it was going to be beautiful. It was going to be a dark metallic black with the yellow, orange, red deck stripes, like a 70s thing. I was going to put a big wing on it, and then all, this whole, like, media tour that this thing's been on the past two months. I've gone 20,000 miles in the past two months in this truck, bouncing back and forth coast to coast, and it's just destroyed the truck. But everyone loves it so i kind of just gave up i think i'm going to clear coat it to preserve all the names and just the history the heritage of the vehicle the story the name of the truck is devilish and for good reason if you're riding this thing 80 miles an hour it blows the tires right off it without the nitrous it's scary it's real dumb this thing is a weapon violence is probably the best word to describe it so if you want to check out more of this death wish toyota pickup you got to be in bowling green in september because we're road tripping back and we're not stopping in New Hampshire, we're coming right back to LS Fest in Bowling Green. You better be there. All right, guys, we've got a 1977 Toyota pickup truck. It's got a turbocharged, nitrous-fed, 4.8 liter LS motor. It's sitting on 2006 Crown Vic front and rear suspension. This thing has driven across the country multiple times. It's done 20,000 miles within two months. 
recently blew up the motor. Tick Performance jumped on board. They gave us the secret sauce with this custom ground camshaft with Brian Tooley Racing uh, valve springs and keepers. We're doing everything that they tell you not to do. We're working in a dirty shop. I'm taking rods out of a Gen 4 motor, stuffing it in a Gen 3 motor, but using the original Gen 3 bearings. We checked the bearing clearances. That all checks out good. It's 1.7 across the board. We put Grand Canyon sized ring gaps in this thing. I think we ran for 30 thousandths ring gaps. Tell us what you're doing. Making some gap and some rings for boosts, extra boosts. That's not good. <laughs> I love doing. You're knuckle deep in my motor and you don't know what you're doing. No, I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, after doing everything wrong, when this thing blows up, you'll know exactly why. You're not supposed to do things the way we're doing it. All right, getting down to the wire. We've got seven days left to get this Hilux back together. We don't have an engine in it. We don't have a transmission in it. The engine's not even like fully together yet. The parts are still at powder coat. That's gonna be another four days, I think, before we get the powder coated parts back. Still got a twin turbo it. I gotta build the hot side, gotta build the cold side. I don't have a transmission, and that is why this truck behind me is here, because we have to pull the engine and transmission out of this truck and uh, this truck is the donor for the transmission. Uh, we didn't get our GearStar performance transmission in time. Uh, so we gotta make do, we gotta be there. It's, it's LS Fester bus.
What are you doing, Eric? Empty in the fuel tank. What are you doing with the battery? For the camera, Eric. For, for the people who don't oh. know. For the <laughs> I mean, I'd use the battery to turn the fuel pump on to pump it into the gas can. Scientist. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. It's not just the gasket. <laughs> <though. laughs> it's not just. My sister is so loud and rubbing. I started to giggling. I wonder. Oh, I got an idea. Hold on. Want to see something awesome? That's the best. All right, that's not that awesome. Now it's got to get put out. Hey, can we put this down so it stops kind of burning the back of my truck? <laughs> Why'd you put it out? Josh. What's that? Why'd you put it out? Out. I don't know. I got scared. Dude, it was fine as long as you. That was awesome! That was the coolest! Now don't put it out this time! So Holly Performance hooked us up with this 680 liter per hour uh, high pressure universal in-tank fuel pump. This thing's good for 1100 horsepower if uh, um, under boosted conditions and 1325 horsepower if you're a naturally aspirated engine. We made up this simple little mount with some threaded rod and some springs. These springs allow the pump to move as the fuel tank expands and contracts or when I smash curbs. My safety glasses. <laughs> it's all good mine. I figure if I can get it to spin to, what is it, 3200 RPM, just stall right out. Oh, oh, that's my nuts. That's my... Trying to get a quart in here so we can load her up, but she's bubbling real slow. Roughly, before we got to be on the road to Kentucky and I bought an eBay 70 millimeter turbo but we figured if one turbo's 
good, two turbos is gonna be way better. So I've got this V8 rear wheel drive converted Toyota Camry with a turbocharged LS motor in it. And we're raping the turbo off of this so we can twin turbo the Hilux right before we drive to Kentucky. What are we doing, science? And yeah, we're doing science stuff, but with no actual data because the truck doesn't run. So I'm just like making educated guesses in hopes that it'll be close enough so you can drive it. 20 hours somewhere. <laughs> 20, it's 24 <laughs> one way. Oh, good, good. Yeah, literally, truck doesn't run. I, I can't uh, see any data. I'm just going by what he's telling me and uh, trying to make some kind of tune. So who are you? Who am I? My name's Derek. I'm with Calculated Chaos. That's me. That's me. And he's back. Yeah, I saw yep. that. Hey, I saw you on the internet. Yeah, man. Rob, you probably Robin. see me on the internet too, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah meninback.com. Oh! <laughs> I knew that was happening. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a lot of hard work. Oh, you and know. you have to eat 3 a.m. spaghetti, or you're not anybody at all. You're just a guy that does a wheelie on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody loves it for some dumb reason. So that's it. We plan to leave today at about now. We probably got another 10 hours of work. Um, and that's if nothing goes wrong. And I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Nothing could go wrong. What we got left? Dump tubes? Dump tubes. Hater pipes. Fuel line from filter to regulator. Fuel pump wires in the cab. Well, either way. Parties at the end. <laughs> True. That's good. We'll come up with more list things when we remember all the things we forgot because we've been up for too many days. I won't forget this party. Okay. Do work. Day three of no sleep. <laughs> Hashtag no spaghetti. Hashtag no spaghetti. Day three. Yeah, this is day I, three. I, I don't know. Huh. It started Monday. You started huh. that grinder up and I could have swore it, like it was a fuel pump turning on. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? <laughs> it's not that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the there we go. Grumpy and dopey, that was good. Oh yeah, you're golden. Now is the fun part, getting it. Oh, that salt's going to do the trick. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how good it'll do it. Full boost. Well, it's, it's like waves that the soap will dry. That side's tight. I figure it's gonna leak, so I'm just gonna fill it full of water instead of wasting a bunch of coolants. Wait a second. There's a rat's nest coming in here. Getting smaller. Leaks? Oh, we're getting fuel pressure. It's getting pressure now. Crank it. Is this for real? Yeah. Put that jumper on. I would say that's a tune thing. I won't count it as a tune until we know that everything's firing. Because yeah. we are only getting pop out of this side. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Go ahead and crank her up. Yeah, that's I got no spark on this side. Well, these turbos side. are definitely going to spin at idle because this one just spun. Oh yeah, this one is spinning. <laughs> <laughs> this turbo mm -hmm. was just spinning. The so easiest you could thing. switch them front to back. The easiest thing to swap is the harnesses on that rail. Right. 
Wade, you're so smart. Yeah, you got to be over this. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I want. So we got a right, ignition coil brackets. That's going to be most likely flip during installation of said so horsepower. Right we'll flip them around and see if that works. Scientist. Oh, okay. oh if this works, it's going to be a miracle. Do you want to do one side? Alright, pack it up and out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo spooling and ladies drooling. Uh, that was louder than a <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be great all the way to Kentucky. You'll be awake. <laughs> you yeah. won't be sleeping. Hey, good job, everybody. And thank you. Hey, guess what? Hey, it fucking Later, run. Bro. Good fucking bye. Good night. It fucking run. After three weeks of thrashing to get the rat rod done for the Rob and Tom show, this Hilux, we've got, we had the last four days, we had absolutely zero sleep. We all just crashed this morning. As soon as the sun came up, we slept for like three hours. This thing has been fighting us the whole way. And we finally just got this thing to run and idle. We're checking its vitals, making sure the coolant's bled. And we're ready to hit the road for Bowling Green, Kentucky. Both the Rat Rod, the Rob and Tom Show, and Vague Industries. You're watching Death Wish. And you need to tune in for the next episode to see how this road trip turns out. Really? Oh. The truck's killing you, bro. Nothing nice. How bad is it? <laughs>